Hi bakers, thanks for stopping by. My name is Shana and today we're going to be practicing our piping skills. In particular, I'm gonna show you how to basket weave, which is a technique I've just learned myself actually. I'm no expert by any means, I'm in culinary school. For this tutorial, you're gonna need a couple of things. The first is a piping bag, which I always use the disposable kind so I can just throw it away when I'm done with it. Then you're gonna need a tip, and I'm not very tip savvy. I don't know what number this is. You can see on one side, it's uh, got these little pointy ridges. Can you see? And the other side is, is completely flat. There you go. I know there's numbers on these tips, but honestly, like, I don't know, it confuses me. Um, you're also gonna need, <laughs> gonna need some buttercream and I could do a tutorial showing me how to make this from scratch, but just for the sake of doing my homework, I cheat all the time and I buy store-bought buttercream. To get started, grab your pastry bag and open it up to form like a cup around your hand. Like so. Then take your tip and insert it so that it drops into the bag. And before you go ahead and cut the, the end of the bag, let's fill it up with a little buttercream because if you're not careful, sometimes when you have a hole and you try to fill it up, it's just gonna plop right on through. So, so I have my little tub of frosting, just vanilla plain buttercream. Fill up your bag a little bit. You don't want to overfill your bag because it makes it hard to work with. So I only fill up my bag maybe about halfway full. But just for the sake of demonstrating today, I'm going to fill it up less than that. So now I'm going to make my cut at the very end. And um, be careful, a common mistake is that people will over judge how much they need to snip off and they'll snip off too much to where the whole tip will come falling right through the hole once you start applying pressure to it. And squeeze down your buttercream so that it's ready to come out. Okay, so to get started, you want to have the pointy end of the tip towards the surface that you're going to going to pipe on and make a straight line going towards yourself, for example, like so. Then you're going to turn your tip perpendicular to that line and you're going to be making kind of like a hashtag mark, I guess. Um, you're going to go over the line that you just created. So first, put the tip at the the edge of the perpendicular line, apply pressure, bring it over the line, stop applying pressure and pull away. Then about the tips width across, give yourself some space to repeat the same process. So you're gonna see me apply pressure, jumping over the line, stop apply, applying pressure and pull away. And we're gonna do it again. Put pressure, jump across the line, and pressure, pull away. Now, when you pull away, you can't really see very well in my video, but you can see that there's a tail, and the point is is to pipe in and the point is is to pipe in such a way that you won't see those tails. So, in order to hide that, you're going to pipe another line towards yourself and pipe over the tail ends of those three lines that you created. So, come on. There you go. Pipe over the tail ends of the three hashtag marks. Then you're gonna see those two empty gaps. We wanna fill that in to create the basket weave look. So you're going to take your tip and do the same exact process over again. Apply pressure, jump over your new line, and pressure, drag a tail. 
apply pressure over your new line and there you go and we're going to repeat the process we're going to make another line coming towards yourself for example um, and covering those tails that you just created now you're we're gonna have three spaces to fill in and once again we're gonna do the same jumping over the line process and as you can see now you can really see that we're starting to create a basket weave looking pattern and this technique it's going to take some practice and some patience um, to cover a whole cake in a basket weave can be kind of tedious but it definitely looks beautiful so i encourage you to give it a try today i'm going to be showing you how to do basket weaving and not the basket weaving with the you know baskets but there's my name is Shana welcome to my channel my name is Shana welcome what? to my don't look at me baby <laughs> where I'm gonna show you how I bas basket weave Ugh. hi bakers thanks for stopping by my name is Shana and today we're going to be practicing our basket weaving technique it's a piping skill um, 